What's up guys? So I've already done a video about how I turn my digital art into prints, but this video is all about how I turn my paintings into prints because the process is quite different and to be honest, a lot more complicated. So I've actually got back into painting after over a year's break. You'll probably notice my YouTube kind of darting about a little bit after having a baby, but this is stuff is not new to me. And before I start, as always, I just want to say, do your own trial and error and experiment to find something that works for you. This is just what I've done, what I currently do, and I'm sharing some options that you might find helpful. In terms of getting the image, you can either scan or photograph. You can either scan or photograph these yourself, or you can outsource this and have these done professionally. If you're having this done professionally, they should do all the work for you. I'll show you what I personally do if I'm scanning or taking photos of my paintings myself. Before I go into it, there are a few things to consider. So make sure that your painting is actually suitable and ready to be made into a print. Metallic and fluorescent things don't generally scan or photograph well. So if you use like fluorescent paint or gold leaf, for example, you might have some issues with getting an accurate image. You can get around this by hand embellishing the prints with more gold leaf or paint after printing and maybe make these like a premium option. Get the image before you varnish, especially if you use a gloss or shiny varnish for the same reason. You may have trouble getting a good image. Think about what size prints you want to make. So if you want to make super large prints, getting an extremely high quality image is essential. If the painting is like five inches by five inches, it might be difficult to make super high quality prints that are 30 inches big. I've both had professional photos taken and done things myself. My wild and focus paintings were taken professionally. At the moment, I only scan or photograph my smaller paintings. So this largest painting I've photographed and made prints of so far is 16 by 20 inches. If you have large paintings, I recommend getting professional photos or scans, or you can take your own photos by taking multiple pictures and stitching them together to make one large image in Photoshop. Scanning is pretty easy. I have an Epson XP970 and the scanner is pretty good. It's only suitable for artwork that is A4 size or smaller though. I just make sure that the quality is 300 dpi and I generally don't make prints larger than A4. When I'm taking my own photos, I use my DSLR camera and tripod and I get best results outside on a cloudy day. I do know people that get amazing results in direct sunlight and I'd recommend playing about and seeing what works best for you. I make sure that the artwork is parallel to the lens and I include space around the edges of the canvas. I always shoot in raw. This is very important because this is the highest quality, completely uncompressed and unedited version. I shoot on the manual setting ISO 100 because I'm outside and aperture F5 usually. The aperture is a little dependent on the lighting that day and I often play about with the shutter speed too on the day. Like I said, you can try it in direct sunlight and see if that works. You can also do this inside if you have light boxes and a good lighting setup. This is just what works for me. The daylight outside is awesome and free. Really just experiment if you're doing this yourself. It's really important to give yourself time to learn and figure things out. Always do what you can with what you have. There is always a way to do things. The option you choose depends on the prints that you want to produce, the size of the artwork, the size of the prints you want to make, what time and resources you have available. I do all of these options depending on the painting and your exact process probably will be a bit different to mine. If you've gone with a professional photographer or scanner, they should do this for you. If you're doing this yourself, the better the original image, the easier the editing process, most of the time anyway. I personally use Lightroom to edit. It's really easy and intuitive to use. You can also use something like Photoshop. Something I learned in Lightroom, which is really smart actually, and has really helped with getting my prints perfect is the mask option. So instead of, for example, editing the whole piece, or for example, all of the reds in the piece, you can just highlight a tiny section of it and then just edit that section. So for me, there was like a little bit of pink in a painting that was less vivid than I'd like, but I didn't want to change all of the pinks because all the rest of the pinks were perfect. This option is really great for that. If you have a large painting and you've taken multiple photos that you need to stitch together first, I believe that Photoshop have an option to merge the images really easily together. I'm not sure if there's a free version you can use that can handle big, high quality, raw photos, but if you do know of any good ones, I would love to hear them in the comments. I will say here that my experience of doing this, some paintings photograph or scan so well and they print like perfect first time or with minimal editing. Other paintings will bring you to the edge of sanity and require so much editing and it's just like painstaking process to get the prints. I've spoken to lots of other artists and this seems to be their experience too, so I think this is fairly normal. When it comes to printing, you have two options, print yourself or outsource. This depends on your situation. There's a few different types of prints that you can make. For example, standard art prints, gicle prints, embellished prints, canvas prints, metal prints. What you decide you want to create may determine your process here. 
you might decide to try outsourcing your prints. Usually printers require a minimum order of prints. Some places do print on demand, but this is often a more expensive option. I have outsourced before. I found a local place that did print on demand G-Clay prints, but this is extremely rare and I'm not even sure they're doing it anymore. I would be open to outsourcing again in the future. It just depends on the situation. I would absolutely outsource if I was printing on canvas or metal. If you're outsourcing, they should tell you what their requirements are. I'd look for printers that check the image first because a lot of them don't and you don't want to end up with rubbish prints because they didn't tell you something was wrong. I'd also look for places that give you samples, especially if they require a minimum order. If you're thinking of outsourcing, find out what their requirements are ideally before you get the image and do any editing. I currently make my own art prints. So I create prints using archival paper and inks that should last over a hundred years minimum and the quality is awesome. As I mentioned, I have the Epson XP970 printer that prints up to A3 size. This paper works so well with this printer and I've been using it for over a year for my illustrations before I started painting again. It will 100% take some trial and error if you're printing yourself. So it depends on your artwork, the image, the printer, the paper, and I can't possibly account for all of these variables. I can just literally show you what I'm doing with my artwork and my printer. I really hope you found that helpful. If you've got any questions, please let me know in the comments. Thanks so much guys, bye.